This was Carlos. He was our guide for the volcano, and he showed us all kinds of stuff and told us a lot about the volcano and kept us informed on what was going on. So I work for the National Seismological Network, who is an institution uh, based in San Jose. So that is a facility with all the seismic network, and we do all the research for monitoring volcanoes mostly. And we do a little bit of research, not that much. We mostly do monitoring for active volcanoes. Um, also, that is based at the University of Costa Rica. Um, it's two institutions working together. One is the university, and the other one is the Costa Rican Electricity Institute. That's because most of the energy in Costa Rica is produced by government, and most of these projects that produce energy, that they are uh, water dams, the geothermal projects, and eolic, are located closer to volcano, active volcanoes. So there is a chance that the eruption can damage all this uh, uh, energy production uh, supply for the country, which could be very, very, I don't know, like very dangerous for the whole stability of the, of the country. There you go, just came out. It's crazy how it does it. This is on the way to the second crater. The trail was pretty neat and it had all kinds of little paths that went off. I wish we could have gone down some of them. I think the biology team actually went down some of them. But there were squirrels and some other kind of animals all over the place. And it was actually kind of scary because it was dark and it, it seemed like we were going into the, like a deep in the woods and like Sleepy Hollow or something and somebody was gonna come out and get us. But the worst part of it was how uphill it was. Pretty much all of us were out of breath. Many of us had to take take uh, a break just to to catch our breath because it was uh, very steep. But it was definitely worth it because there were some beautiful views that are coming up. This is where we ate lunch after leaving the volcano, and it was a really neat place because it was huge. It had this awesome lodge and amazing food, and I really enjoyed it. It reminded me of being back at the camps that I used to go to when I was in Young Life, and there was all the kinds of stuff to do. Unfortunately, we couldn't do any of the canoeing or anything because there weren't any lifeguards, but it was still awesome to be there. It was a nice little change of pace just because we got to relax and you know, get great food and just kind of soak in everything that we had just seen. Okay. Just throw you up a hand all over here. 